I'm a 21 year old bloke, um, and I've been. I left school at 16 to an apprenticeship. Yeah, uh, I've been in you know uh, production kind of factory work since then, and I personally don't read the Sun, the Daily Mail, anything like that. No, and uh, everyone at work obviously does. Yes. Um and I think the biggest issue in this country, like you commonly say, is the media. Yeah, of course. Because it is. with this whole week. With uh, you know Boris's absolute shamble, shambolic week, you know, a couple of people have spoken to me about it, and I don't say what I actually think because you just you get hailed, you know, you know they just call you an idiot or you know have a right go at you and say we can't ever have Corbyn in because he destroyed the country, yeah. right? A Labour government would. I'm obviously 21. I've not been into politics long. I don't quite know how a Labour government would be worse than No Deal. And, you know, all the experts that are saying no deal is going to be extremely dangerous. Mm. But that is not relevant because the media, the right wing media and all of the lies that are spread on a daily occurrence, they are louder than your truths. They're louder than all truths. Um, truth's boring. Well, yeah, exactly. Truth's boring. Exactly. And it's just, you, you, quite frankly, you just get nowhere because every single day there'll be another lie or a ridiculous article like the Corbyn chicken one. And I think fundamentally in this country, the biggest issue is the media. Well, well and, you're the expert here, not me. What what would... Because I can take... I can talk to people one by one. Or, 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 yeah. or, or, you know, I can make big pronouncements and pompous monologues on the radio. And I know it changes <laughs> minds because people tell me that they do. But if I was you, if we yeah. swapped jobs for a while, and I was sitting next to someone at work who, who still subscribes to these... I mean, demonstrably ridiculous beliefs. How, how can yeah. you break through to them? Because I presume, and I don't want to be patronising, but they presume yeah, that if someone posh like Jacob Rees-Mogg is saying it, then it must be true. Well, I don't, I don't even think it's as far as that. I think it is, they pick up the sun, which they do every day, the Daily Mail, anything like that. They yeah. read that. And then it just, every single day, a bit more of a concrete foundation for their views is laid yes. every time they read another lie. Yeah, of course. And it gets worse and worse. E even, when, even when they read someone like Richard Littlejohn telling them that Boris Johnson is lying and telling yeah, them that they yeah. should love it. They, I, think, I think they see it as this man's got the... They see it somehow as he's got the, the courage to do it and that makes him a better prime minister. I'm not quite sure how, but... It, it is happening. I well, that, then, then we took a call. Of, sorry, I'm more interested in what you think than what I think. Go on. I think personally what? I think that we're approaching a stage with, Boris, you know, with this whole Boris Johnson's line and we love it. I think we're getting close to um, what it was a couple of years ago with Donald Trump's campaign when mm. he said, if I could walk down where... I can't, can't quite remember the No, quote, he said, I could shoot someone on, I could shoot someone on Fifth someone. Avenue yeah. and not lose a single vote. So if, yeah, if Boris Johnson stood up point. right now... And, and, I don't know, poured a bucket of cold sick over his head and claimed it was the second coming, you've got colleagues yeah. that would applaud and cheer. Yeah, it's, 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 I think the, the, the fundamental issue in this I country be, yeah. is the media, and I think they should be held accountable for lies and spreading lies, just as businessmen are. You know, if they lie about, I don't know, their incomes or tax or anything, they are held accountable. It is dangerous what they're doing. As opposed to putting the, putting the lie on page one and then putting the retraction yeah. and the apology on page 412 yeah, six and, months later. And, and I think, I just think they need to be held. I know it's a difficult subject because me, you know, journalism is journalism. You know, you, it's always been spun. There's always been like, True. you know, what, what's the word? Uh, alternative facts. There's always been alternative <laughs> facts in the media. But <laughs> I, think, um, I think this brainwashing of everyone, you know, in this kind of industry I work in, drastically needs to change. And, and if know, that it, is your only news source, and not only is it your only news source, but if you're reading the Mail in the Sun every day, they're telling you not to trust the BBC as well, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, it, I mean, what else, what else is going to happen? Yeah, it's just, it's, um, you know, and I've got to the point now with it where I start to think, am I being brainwashed? Because I love your show, I've read your book, sure. I absolutely, you know, I listen every day that I can. But I'm getting to the point now where I'm like, how can this bloke on the radio say all this stuff and no one else understand that it's true? Or that, how can no one else see what you see? Well, you know like, what the answer to that is. You've got to buy a book for every bloke you work with. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, I, just, I don't know. It was 99p on Amazon when I was on holiday. You could get the e-book for one day only. You could have you you put a notice board up. in the. In, but I, well, well, that, that is why, I, that's why you've read these lines then a million times. It's, it's about selling tickets for the yeah. ghost train versus the speak your weight machine. You just count yeah. the people in the queue. But hang in there. Henry, because the truth know, is the I, truth. I, I am. The I am, truth I am, is the truth. I can't, for one second, put any beliefs or be mutually agreed with Jacob Rees-Mogg. He's an absolute 
it, it, I don't know. What he did the other day was an absolute joke. Well, how do your mates that, at work deal with that when they see him lounging no, well, on... This, this is the thing. They don't really... I think they see that, but they don't really follow it as in-depth as I do. I'm quite... I, love, I listen to your show every day. I can, and like I say, and I love to try and keep informed with it. And I'm not, I'm not... I don't think they're aware that a politician has accused a doctor who is just trying to... You know, warn that people may die if we leave with no deal. Mm. He's accused him of being a scaremonger. You he's know, accused him of worse and than that. Actually, he, he's just what he's apologised for is, is comparing him to a doctor who was struck off in disgrace. It's one minute after twelve. Henry, you've made my day, mate. I hope you'll, you'll let me say that. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> his baby steps on the on the production line where you work. I've got one person on side, but it's a hell of a lot better than none. So thank you. Have a great weekend.